Shalom and welcome to our last episode in this series of the Living Supernaturally. This whole week we have been praying scripture for different seasons, times of our life. Today we are going to be praying the prayer of blessing. This is probably a common blessing you have heard maybe sung in weddings during a church service. and that's what we are going to pray and this is taken from numbers chapter 6 verses 24 and 26 a background to this we see is that the lord himself instructs moses moses and tells him to tell aaron and his sons to pronounce this blessing over the children of israel and this is a wonderful blessing or benediction that the lord himself gives and it's a blessing that you can declare to yourself and to others around now this blessing has many parts again it begins with the lord bless you god loves to bless his people and the blessing that comes from god is the best and nothing really works at all other than the blessing of god we remember that god's blessing is for our greatest and for our highest good sometimes we settle for happiness or comfort or wealth or we we feel that could be a blessing but true blessing from god is higher than any other happiness or wealth or comfort that we can experience the second part of that prayer says he will keep you to be kept by the lord is a blessing indeed Some people are kept by their sin, by their idolatry or by their greed or their bitterness or their anger. But to be kept by the Lord ensures life and peace and success. The next part of that verse says, "The Lord make his face to shine upon you." Imagine to have the glorious face of the Lord shining upon you. Isn't that the greatest gift that any of us could have? to know that god looks at you and he looks at you with pleasure and we know that when we are in jesus christ there is no greater source of blessing than having him the next part of that verse says be gracious to you the idea he, here is that god wants to show his mercy his never ending mercy and grace and care for his people The last part of the verse says the Lord lift his countenance upon you lifting one's countenance or face upon someone means to pay attention or to look favorably upon the person and the last is to give you peace this word peace comes from the hebrew word shalom which means total well-being which includes everything which includes wholeness which includes healing which includes deliverance and this is the abundant life jesus promised so today join with me to pray this prayer for yourself for your family for those you may be praying for 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 loved ones let's pray this together we pray from numbers chapter 6 verses 24 to 26 the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org